Hello, y'all. This is Rev of God's Real Talk TV. And know this as fact. This is a day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You hear me? I will rejoice and be glad in it. Because sometimes we just don't know how to accept the things that happen. I just called a friend of mine. He said um, one of his young cousins was shot yesterday and killed. Was his soul okay? Did that child have time to repent? This is what's important. It's a lot of things we can discuss and talk about after the person is gone. But before the person is gone, make sure you pray for them. And if you get them close enough to you, you hog tie them and make them sit somewhere quietly by themselves. You don't have to listen to them to eavesdrop to see what they confess and that they did. Like, they, I knew you stole my watch. I knew you stole my money. I knew you touched my butt. Mm -mm. We ain't need to know nothing. That is between that individual and our Savior. And our Savior will take it to our Father. But we got to start. If we don't repent, then that's on us. We got too much time to repent. If you got time to eat breakfast in the morning, Walk your dog, feed him or her, kiss your children on the forehead, and your wife. Make sure that the grass is being watered, and that all appointments are set. Still in enough time for you to make it to work on time, as you greet everybody in traffic. Amen. Somewhere in between there, you got time to repent. Stop, drop, and repent. There's nothing wrong with it. It takes a lot of burden off you. How about the next time you run across Rev and you say, Hey, Rev, how you doing? I'm going to say, turn around for a minute. I'm going to jump on your damn back. I'm going to give you the burdens. I'm going to give you the burdens. I'm going to be that burden weighing your back down. You know what I'm talking about? Repent. Repentance. It's to turn around from doing what you've done that was wrong. Repentance. Knock it off. And trust, we all fall short of the glory. But we all got time to say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. You know I didn't mean to drink all that last night. Amen. And nor did I mean to have any fornication, Father. Forgive me of that sin. And I didn't mean to steal a car from the gentleman when he started up and stepped out for a second, Father. I didn't mean to. Or wreck it, Father. Or to slap somebody just because they looked at me wrong, Father. I didn't mean to really slap them. I... Repent. No matter what it is. No matter what it is. No matter what it is. I mean, the range is open. It's open. I'm not even going to point to no areas because you're like, oh, he's trying to say that. I'm... No, sin is sin. I sinned. I've sinned. And I've repented. I've sinned. Thought of sin. And I've repented. I've only thought of sinning. And I start repenting like, Lord Jesus Christ, where's my mind going? Why am I all over the place like this here? I just can't be thinking like this. This is just not cool. It's not with the business. It's not with my walk. And I can't have this part of me. Forgive me. And continue to love me and use me. Because you know I'm weak. How simple can it be? <sighs> but it's been several deaths in the last couple of weeks. And... Thousands, millions across the planet. But to rejoice, <laughs> there's a million more babies being born every day. What? 
Okay, see, knock it off. Might not be yours, because not too often, I think God will, I mean, it happens. Somebody died today in a family, and say the mother was a, you know, mother of that child, and actually she went right into labor and had another one right there, you know what I'm saying? So, we do have these things occur in our life, and it's, it's not to say, ooh, thank you, Lord, give me another child, I can try again, or none of that. How did the first one die, and how did you react? Did you keep on crying and feel all remorseful and everything else and blame God? Or did you say, thank you, Father, for taking him home? I know I've taken time to pray with him and repent upon his soul. And I've seen that he's actually walked through the valley of the shadows of death only to get to the other end and say, forgive me, Lord, for being a prodigal child. But this is where we are, and this is what we're doing. And I, every day, I go to God in prayer. Because I know I'm still a filthy rag. And so are you. So stay blessed, and stay tired of the devil's mess. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace out. One love. One God. This is Rev with God's Real Talk TV. You already know how I do it. 100. Charlie.